Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Bert, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. Um, just a quick announcement because we do have something really fun planned for when we hit 800 subscribers. We're going to do a live art stream where I draw your OCs or your Final Fantasy XIV characters or just whatever kind of safe for work little headshot you want me to draw. Um, yeah, I think that's that's about it. That being said, let's jump right into it. Hmm, taking an interest in the ship? <laughs> Good eye. She's not much to look at now, but once upon a time, she was a beauty. The Confederacy favors flotillas of smaller ships to capture and board errant vessels. The larger ones, like the Sekubune, only take part in major engagements. Nothing, not that we've had any of those recently, what with all those imperial bastards throwing their weight around. If it wasn't for them, well, no use moaning about what you can't change, eh? It's a nice ship, yes. It's lovely. Nice boat. Modest. Understated. I had a good look around. Then we just need to wait for Lise. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I wanted to talk to as many people as I could. It's just as Tansui said. They have no intention of standing up to Yatsuyu. I don't know if you two got a different impression. I agree. It's obvious that they aren't that they are struggling to survive and that they blame the Imperials for their recent troubles. Even if we do nothing, it is inevitable that they will come into conflict with the Empire sooner or later, and deep down they all know it. The only thing holding them back at the moment is the belief that they lack the strength to survive the coming war. So we need to prove to them that we're not all talk, that we can be valuable allies in the fight. <laughs> Easy. And what better way to demonstrate our worth than by seeking out people with mundane problems and offering them our expert assistance? Would it be the first time we've had to earn someone's trust by helping them out with this and that? And you know it won't be the last. That's the writers telling us. This doesn't end. I'll look around the western end of Onokoro. You two take the east. Good luck. Hello. You strike me as a strong and capable individual. I've got a job for you, Westerner, if you are courageous as well. On the beach far to the west lies the carcass of a Gyuki, feathered with arrows. I would have you go and retrieve those which may still be of use. While you are about it, I should be glad if you were to butcher its tail for meat. Very good meat and Gyuki tails, you know. But I did say you would need to be uh, would need be a courageous sort, and meant it. The beast was young. Do not be surprised if an angry mother mourns its child. You there, I you. Have you seen a bubbling clod of an aura? Uh, is that me? A new recruit I ordered to patrol the northern edge of Onokoro. He is late and returning. A strange boy he was, quiet and brooding, reluctant to speak unless spoken to first. Better that, that, better that than a fool who never holds his tongue, perhaps. Much as I would enjoy dragging him back by the ear, I cannot. Duty compels me to remain. You, on the other hand, have no such obligations. How do you know that? Kami, take me. What kind of pirate cannot suffer the sway of the ocean? Huh? A new recruit from far-flung shores. Listen well. I have a task for you. Go first to Ao Aokumo below and receive of him medicine for men of the earth. Then to Quickscape Pier in the hapless Doma bemoaning his wretched fate quickly. It's one of those streams. He's running around questing. Hello, give me your medicine. Come at the behest of a Fumi for medicine. The very best is yours for the taking. How pitiful the lot of this doman, unable to stomach the sea. A true confederate could raid a dozen ships while in his cops. Mayhap this one should return whence he came. That's harsh. Wow, these guys are mean. Hey, friend. What's going on? <laughs> who, who are you? You do not look like a woman of the confederacy. How could you tell? My ropes? Forgive me. T'was but yesterday we bid farewell to one of our own, and I worried that she might have lost her way. We laid her to rest in a boat and pushed her out till the current claimed it. 
for the sea is our home, now and ever after. But those sent thither with burdened hearts may drift back to shore, it is said. Out of concern for her comrades, she strove to earn far more than her keep. She hunted rare and deadly game in treacherous waters and lost her life for it. But my vigil is ended. Her vessel has not returned to Onokoro. She has made peace with li this life and picked her faith in us to live on. That's sad. He just was making sure his friends get put to rest. Ugh, oh, why does it shift and shut us still? Oh, poor guy. Medicines, give them here. They may look down on me for resorting to such measures, but I would do aught to render the world stable and motionless once more. You are kind, as is a fubi. You may tell her that I will return to my duties as soon as I am able. So what to my recruit? Did you find him napping on the beach or some such? No, actually, you rude jerk. What? All this time he was standing watch for the funerary vessel? Huh. So rarely does he give voice to his thoughts. I had no idea our comrade's death had affected him so. Too quick was I to judge him. It is good that you went in my stead, else I might have misspoken and made a fool of myself. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. The Dobin was raised in the mountains of his homeland. The first time he saw the sea was after he fled his homeland and came to us. He tosses and turns in his sleep, and when he takes to the water, it is not long before he can no longer stand. But he will grow accustomed to this life. He is hardly the first, after all. The captain, too, was once of Doma, though he cast all aside twenty and five years ago when the Imperials took his lands and the lives of his parents and brothers. Perhaps you, too, will renounce your ties and join us some day. Aye, I mistook you for a recruit before, but I know your tale now. Tensui unfolded all. Think of my offer, Westerner. You may find small joys in the land, but the sea holds salvation. Perhaps it did. I see I did not misjudge you. Thank you for your help. Would that I could have tended to my own kill, but such is life. A pity the meat is not as delicious as it is nutritious. Under normal circumstances, we would not bother hunting Yukia's game. But as you may have heard, these are not normal circumstances. Arrows too must be reused when possible. A prudent measure became uh, become unnecessary, alas. With every passing day, our future grows more uncertain. But this day we shall have full bellies, and in that must we take solace. And wayward travelers need not risk the ire of vengeful Gyuki by wandering near my neglected kill. A strange sigh passes your lips. Have I said something odd? No matter. Thank you again for your aid. You've been busy, haven't you? You now here, and now you are here to ask if I need help with anything. Heh, <laughs> now that you mention it. Lately we've had trouble with ravenous sharks that have been leaping out of the water and making off with our fish. Damnedest thing, I know, but you know, you wouldn't doubt it if you saw it. We've got to call the thieving bastards regularly. So happens I sent three of my mates out there before you came along. Still, the more the merrier. If you can kill two or so, that ought to be enough. Take a few of those rotting fish's bait. I'll not be eating them. Oh, and maybe see if you can't find the other group. They've been away longer than I'd like. <laughs> Have you been doing work? Ah, oh, there you are, Burr. I heard you went shark hunting. We too did our fair share of beast culling, though I think Lise made a stronger impression when she bested a drunken pirate in a sparring match. Fastest knockout to date, I am told. I should like to think we have proven ourselves to be rather... Hmm. Where do I get the feeling you have something important to tell me? <laughs> Cogent mercenaries rounding up dormant confederates. Surely your Tsuyu has crossed the line now. We must go and speak with Rasho immediately. Even he cannot deny that this changes everything. At least, I should like to think that he cannot. Come now, man. Use your, uh, your senses. Our most compassionate acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain you understood our position. And yet here you are with that same look in your eyes and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be spared Yotsuyu's wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. 
How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Tell me... They had no part in it, Tansui. You know this. We all know this. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. So we attack and get butchered for our trouble? Or do naught and let them have their pound of flesh? If this be our choice, I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure. We survive. There is no better path. Until the day our enemy is grown weaker and we stronger, there can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. So that's it then. You're just going to abandon them to her. They'd die for you, you know, for the Confederacy. They would die for you, but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs. I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested it. Assuming we survive, that is. The question being, do you trust me? We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Then let us roll the dice. If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Galian out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Asari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. Accordingly, we shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. <laughs> what, the three of you, just like that? Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on her own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. If we succeed, you help us liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager. If you have the stones for it. Talking about balls. <laughs> Little Miss does make it hard to refuse, does she not? Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. So, alone you will deal with the Kojin. If you set upon this course, I shall give to you a word of advice. Two factions have the Kojin. The mercenaries who serve the Empire belong to the Red. Those who belong to the Blue are the traitors. They have made no pact with the Imperials, and so may be willing to aid your cause. Seek the Blue on the Isle of Beko. There you will find a cave. The rest is up to you. Thank you, Captain. We shall endeavor not to keep you waiting over long for your side. Right then, let us head for... Wait, where is Lise? We cannot leave without her. Who? <laughs> Burr? What is it? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wander off. I... I just wanted to have a think. <laughs> You're worried we won't be able to live up to our promises. No, it's not at all. Not that at all. If anything, I'm frustrated that I didn't think of it first. You and uh, Ida and my father had a way with words. They knew how to inspire people, how to bring them together. I always hoped I might have something of that in me too, but I'm starting to think I don't. What am I even doing here? Oh, she's having a 
crisis. An identity crisis. I forgot who I am. Who am I? Please, you... Gods, listen to me. I don't know where that came from. Forget I said anything. We have places to go, Imperials to fight, and friends to save. And we're not going to get any of it done by standing around here moaning, right? Right? Before we first traveled to Garabanya, I was in Lipsa Lovinsa, visiting. Visiting a friend, a young child who had been through a great deal. That's neither here nor there, I suppose. Anyway, on the way back, I passed a, a patisserie which sold some of the most exquisite-looking tarts I'd ever seen. I've always preferred cookies, to be honest, but nevertheless, I decided to stop and try one. I'll treat you to one when all this is over. Burr, too, and I won't take no for an answer. I'll get pastries. What about Estola? We'd never hear the end of it. All right, all right. Estola, too, when she's better. Deal? Good. Then let's hurry, shall we? We have a million things to do before then. I think this is the Isle of Beko. Though to be honest, it looks the same to me as however many other islands around here. Masho said there was a cave that would lead us to their village. We should search further inland. Is that light I see up ahead? <gasps> we uh, appear to be standing inside a giant bubble by the twelve. I think we're on the seabed. Well, well. I thought I heard familiar voices. Soroban, what are you doing here? Oh, what a curious question. I live here. Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. How fortunate that we should find a familiar face in this place. We should tell Sora about our situation. If anyone here can help us, it's him. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.